started with the horse work, I wanted to just go over the equipment real quick, show you my stuff. There on the right, got the um, hobble that I'll use on the hind leg. It's got a shackle with a rope. And then just to the left of that is a pair of hobbles with some padding on it. And that's the set that I'm going to use for the full size horse for the first time she's hobbled. To the left of that one is a pair of leather hobbles. Those are good ones to hang on a saddle. They're heavy duty, but they're not very heavy uh, to carry. And they can hang off your um, back cinch if you want to take them riding. And then just to the left of that is another pair of um, the webbing hobbles nylon and um, those are the ones I used on the little pony they're small and light again another good set to pack on your saddle or take with you when you're riding or traveling and then for the left I've just got the long line uh, with a snap on it that I use to put on the horses while I'm initially hobble training them and a pair of polar wraps just some old ones um, that I use to protect their legs for the first time they're hobbled and then just a pair of gloves just got some cheapo Costco gloves there. So that's kind of the equipment, sort of a close-up, so you could get a look at it. And this is a pair that I'll use for training. You can see the way that they're uh, woven back through each other. And then it actually has some uh, cotton to protect it near the buckle area too. And the same with the hind leg shackle that has some padding on the inside. These are good ones for initial training. Thanks for joining us again. This is part two of hobble training with the big horse. I've already wrapped her legs with the polo wraps. Uh, just keep in mind that's not the way that you would wrap them for actually using them for like competition or, or um, riding. But in this case we're using them to protect her pastern area so I've got them wrapped all the way down. Got my hobbles here. Um, as you can see this horse is big. She's been getting a little too much uh, in the way of groceries lately. So she's pretty heavy, so I want a good set of hobbles. I kind of showed a little demonstration at the beginning of the video, so hopefully you'll be able to take a look at those and see. These are pretty heavy hobbles for training, but they're padded um, on the part that goes up against the horse. Then I got my long line and my gloves, always a good idea. She's never had hobbles on before. Um, I've just done the training that I showed you previously in part one on teaching her how to give to leg pressure and um, to, be, to be willing to um, release that leg when there's pull on it instead of fighting against it. So we'll just um, go ahead and get started. Show her the hobbles. Make sure she hears the jingle. I think that's kind of the main thing. Go ahead and get the hobble around the right leg. Again, I put them down by the pastern. A lot of people will put them higher up, but they usually end up down by the pastern anyway. So. All right, now I've got them buckled on and Make sure you got my rope ready to go so I can tip her head in. She's about to figure out this 
fact that her feet are tied together. <laughs> and that's pretty typical. They'll try to fight with them and try to get their feet apart. I'm just gonna kind of circle around to encourage her to move a little bit and find out what her limitations are. Um, I never try to pull their head. I see some people do that try to make them lead. And um, I'm the one that put the hobbles on her and I know she can't lead. So I don't like try to pull her because I think that's kind of a contradiction telling her to come forward when she has hobbles on that I just put on. Um, and when I usually try to lead her, I want her to come with me. So I don't use the leading cue to see if I can get them to test the hobbles. Instead, I might just move around a little bit, kind of encourage her to move and figure that out like that. And she's doing really good. She's not acting like she's going to put her head down too far and fall down. She's learning to put her hind feet underneath of her, which is a huge hobbles um, horses have to learn to keep their front ones together and put their hind ones up underneath of them to maintain their balance. So I'm just going to ask her to move a little bit here by swinging the rope at her rather than pulling on her head. There she goes. That a girl. She's been trained to give her hind quarters quite a bit so girl. Well, I was hoping to get one that would be dramatic, and she's a big horse. I thought she'd fight this a little bit more, but she's kind of making it look easy. Let me come forward a little bit and see if that'll encourage her to step forward. Or I can always do the grass thing. A horse that likes her groceries as much as this one does will generally try to come to some grass. And that figured out pretty good. So I guess the lesson, the take home lesson here is um, if you teach them to give with their legs quite a bit and they're good at it before you even do this, it's not such a big deal. Um, a lot of times you'll see people put hobbles on and the horses are freaking out and fighting and falling. But if you've already worked with their front legs and they're good with picking them up, they're good with the farrier or trimmer, um, and you've had ropes on them and different things. Um, this is kind of a not a big deal. And that's why I like to start at the beginning. Make sure you start at step one and get that down. Because then the rest of it is easy. So much as I was hoping for something dramatic and exciting, it looks like we're not going to get it. encouraging her. I'm not pulling her. Just encouraging her to step around. There she goes. I'm all right with her hopping like that. She's learning to put her feet together and that's okay. They have to hop to move their feet. So that's it for the first time for hobbling for her. Um, at the beginning of the video I just showed a little bit of footage of the pony and that was her second time having her hobbles on. And I uh, just put her out here. I showed her the hobble on her, and you saw how she reacted with them. That was the first time. And right now, she's out of the view of the camera, but 
I've got her out on some grass with her hobbles on, and that's another um, good way to get let them get used to them is to kind of make it a fun thing and a bad thing. So um, I'll put their hobbles on and stake them out on some grass. Not stake literally, but put them out on some grass with their hobbles on. And that way they kind of think, oh, well, I'm getting hobbles. I also get to So it's not a big deal, and it kind of teaches them to get more comfortable with the hobbles while at the same time they're um, doing something enjoyable to them. And then you can keep an eye on them. So she's right here out of the camera, just eating some of this grass. And then this gal, I'm going to take the lead rope off and leave her out in the round pen right now. Uh, just let her spend some more time getting used to the hobbles while I'm over trimming the other horse. That way I can keep my eye on her, make sure she's staying out of trouble under the panel or falling down where she might roll and get hung up. But I can also keep my eye on her and uh, she's uh, spending time learning more about how to get around with these on. So, thanks for joining us for step two of uh, hobble training with a big horse, which I thought would be more exciting, but uh, it is what it is. And uh, when you do a good job on the first step, then the second step isn't such a big deal, which is good. And then next time what we'll do is we'll do step three, and that's adding that uh, shackle to the hind leg so that uh, they don't learn to actually run away with the hobbles and leave you somewhere where you don't want to be left. So thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Ride safe.